the corner here to my favorite booth. Well, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. You know, I said that the whole month of August, I was not going to do any sourcing. That was a big fat lie because I'm at the antique mall. I can't stay away. I can't. But I'm at the antique mall. I'm actually, I'm at Riverside Antiques here in local town of Bedford, Indiana. It's one of my very favorite places and rumor has it she's full. Full! So I gotta go in here. It's been a long time since I've been in here to see Lisa and all of her goodies. So today's the day. We're gonna go in and see what we can find. This is kind of cool. Looks like it's a cased little lamp in there. And the little roosters. Remember the sponge paint stuff. In the 90s probably. I got some Boyd's Bears. Oh, look at the little teapots with a little bird. This is not vintage, but still so cute. That is adorable. Oh, it's on both sides. What's it look like on the inside? I don't think it's ever been used. That's adorable. I like the color. That little bird on there. That's adorable. Goodness, look at this little plate with these little pigs. Look at those little pigs. They're being little sassy little pigs rolling around there. That's adorable. It's $8. It's a milk glass. That's a pretty cute little child's dish there. Look at these two Aladdin lamps. These are Aladdin. And not the original um, lampshades on them. I'm trying to find a price. These are just like the ones that I had seen at another antique store. I'm not seeing the price on there. There's two fairy lamps right there as well. But what really caught my eye, I mean, these lamps are great and everything, but you know what it catches my eye is this. It's a pound puppy, but it's a poodle. It's a pound puppy poodle. Look at her. It's pretty faded, but I want to say this is probably 1984. How much do they want for the pan puppy poodle? I'm getting that. Look at its little feet. I love it. There's some briar horses. $45 for the carpe diem. That one. I don't know. That one's $30. I know that those can be quite collectible. It's not really something in my wheelhouse or something that I'm buying, but... Those are pretty, pretty collectible there. I love these. Someone's, she's made these. I think that they're cool. They are $16 for the little mugs, wind chimes with the spoons and forks. That one's a tea kettle. I don't know, I just think they're kind of cool. They make a neat sound too. I see a little purple. It's hand blown purple. You can see it is purple. It's two dollars. Well, I'm gonna put you in my cart. Two dollar purple hand blown glass purple vase. Look, this booth always has nice things in here. We look at this booth a lot. This has a lot of the little Millie Fiori little fish there. She's cute. In Arco, Cleveland, Ohio, the little Southern Belle. She's seventeen fifty. Fenton. This is a little piece of carnival glass Fenton. $15. That's beautiful. Some more Fenton up there. I love that uh, Fenton. That red. That's very striking. A little classic car. So I love the little pink one. Adorable. Some little trivets. I'm just looking for things that Oh, here's a little Italian, Italian poodle. Oh, a little skipper. This, this little skipper. It looks like a little skipper. I know it's a Pomeranian, but it's Ocago. A little Pomeranian, but looks like Sarah's little skipper. Skipper. These little kids here. We'll get your water for you, ma'am. They look a little creepy, don't they? Anarcho peasant girl. She's nine fifty.
Old sewing desk here. These are always pretty nice. And this is $9.50. It's got the glass beads there. You know what? I think I'm going to get this. I really like that. It's got these tokens. like um, It's like a, some kind of foreign currency token there. Oh, we've got some threads on the inside. But it's in really good shape with the glass beads on there for $9.50. This is also glass. So I'm going to get the little sewing basket. Okay, so he, here we've got some Pyrex. So we got this beautiful snowflake garland. Well, I don't know if this is snowflake garland or not. But it is $32.50, which is a great price. And then this, here's a fridge here. It's $9.50. It does not have the lid. This one, I think these three would have gone together. This one doesn't have the lid. I do have the one that matches this one. Well, I have that one with the lid. This is 1350. So I think I'm gonna get that one, and I think I'm, this one's also 1350 as well. Um, the, for, I think this is a. Oh gosh, I'm horrible at my patterns. I'm like, I like the color. Does this say on the tag? Amish butter print. Yes. I think it's a good price, $13.50 for that. That, oh man, I wish I one had the lid. Or I wish I had a lid. Sometimes, oh, I didn't see all that Pyrex over there either. I don't have, sometimes I will find a lid and I'll buy a lid if I could see one that goes with these little fridges. But I think I'm gonna get these, this one and that one. This federal set is pretty here with the frosted glass. Twelve fifty for the small ones, twenty-two for the big one, and seventeen for the medium size. But I'm also looking here at this Frankoma cookie jar. I don't really want to, really want to mess with um, shipping it, but it is only seventeen fifty. It's a great price there. Oh, there's a lot of duck decoys there too. I know those can do pretty well. Fifteen dollars for those. So that's a great deal. On those again that's just not something that I'm buying but if you like duck decoys you can come on out here and get you some oh gosh see I would be stuck looking through that box of toys how much are they They're a dollar each I'm probably gonna look through them let's look through them real quick sometimes you just never know it's like you go find boots where's Dora Um, oh, it's a big lollipop. I don't know who you are. Okay. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking through that, but I like to look through those things. Oh my gosh, the strobe ghoulies. I remember these. I wonder if they work. Oh, there's no batteries in them, but they go... It's from the Boo Bunch. Here, I dance. Hear my eerie howl. These are from the 90s. There's also that scary looking creature there. In the corner here to my favorite booth. I see lots of things that I must have. Like that witch. My goodness, she's fabulous. She's only $5 and she's as is. Oh, hi babies. Ooh. Ooh. 1050. You are amazing. I'm gonna get you, my pretty. And your little fitting cat, too. So this is $20. It does glow. Do you glow? Oh, I wanted to check to see. Oh, do you? Do you? Oh, look at you, pumpkin man. Oh my gosh. I wanted to see if mm, this flower frog. Oh yeah, that glows like the dickens. I gotta get pumpkin man. He's six dollars. That's adorable. And this big eyed girl. She's made in Hong Kong. She got big eyes, but she would be great to use as a for a Halloween display. She's five dollars. And then we've got a little Anna Lee guy. Oh my gosh, there's Henry. Monster. Oh yes. You are. I love you. I just said I was gonna sell a lot of my Halloween stuff and I'm like, I'm keeping yo. I love Henry Monster. 
<laughs> okay, Mark is not going to be happy, but I'm going to get the Annalie because it's Halloween and it's cute. Oh my gosh, there's a glow worm. I just can't. I'm going to move my cart a little closer. Because, I mean, I could just like go and push it all into my cart. Okay, you are um, from, oh, he doesn't work. Wait, he's from like a go-go, go-go guy. Look at his little hands. I like him. Misty, you don't need him. But look how great he looks in a display. Look at his little floppy hands. Ooh, what are you? You're 750, you're a little Swedish bird, I do believe. Look at those two guys. <laughs> Can't resist the hand painted things. Like, look at these little ghosts. Look at them. They're, you get all of them for $2. That one's got a little bit of a boober up there, but I think those would be cute. I'm getting them for $2. We can do something with you guys. Here's a little made in Japan pixie vase. He's cute. I've not seen him. I, at first I thought, well, he's bisque. Yeah, I don't like wait. I don't like the way that you feel, sir. You are Shawnee. I've sold you lots of times, but I don't know. I'm kind of liking this one. I'm going to think about him, but look at the glow worm. 1986. It works. Wait, but you're not working. Do you? Oh, wait. Oh, you, you got two faces. How do you work? Oh, man. I'm not going to get it because I had one and it did not do well. And I'm not, I don't need to keep it for me. Look at you, Al. You're cute. You're $4. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my gosh. Look at these baby bears. Look at his, like, little mouth. It's like, ooh, he's $5. Oh, my gosh. I love him. You know why? Because he's got buttons for eyes. He's a little rubber-nosed bear. Get your, do I get your little friend? What about you? You're so floppy and loved. Oh my gosh. I like the sewing box too. This was Belding Cordelletti. I think that's the name of the company, not the name of the person, but that's a fun little sewing box there for $7. It actually looks really cute with these bears. I'm just going to get the one bear today. Somebody should come in and buy these two little buddies. There's a little bluebird of happiness. I have quite a collection of these right now, so I'm not gonna get any more. Oh my goodness, look, there's a little pixie cookie jar of 24. Oh, look at all those cupies. I think I have that puzzle. Ooh, look at you, little Japan doll. You're cute. I'm gonna get you. And your rimple, a little bunny. 17 we're gonna move you up here though I've sold these guys lots of times before too he's 650 the breakfast brigade fire king mm. all right I'm gonna pull down that witch a little closer but look at all this oh here's Holt Howard right here for 35 they do have their inserts. Oh man, I think about it. I think about it. Oh, look at the little poodle pins. A nice big floral brooch. It's got a little bit of discoloration down there though. This is Viking, I do believe. Maybe not. I don't know if you are or not. Look at the little carrots. I'm gonna get those. Those are adorable. Also, this is a little pixie pock. Wait. Pixie Potters. It's ten dollars. She says as is, but I think there's just like a little boober right there, but I think it's a glazing flaw. So I'm gonna get this guy. Okay, here we have some little flamingo knotters for twelve dollars. So I'm definitely gonna get those. This should glow. For 15, yes, it does glow. So I'm gonna get that. These are Fiesta. They are the older ones I do. I think they've got the, not unless that's a replacement stopper, which it could very well be. I love the green. 
for 12. This is Viking for 20. Beautiful orange handkerchief bowl. This is stunning with a twisted base. <coughs> oop, oop, oop. It's 36. That twist, that's also Viking there. A good way to tell is that rim around the bottom. This is 18. Another Shawnee. This is adorable. 725 for that guy. Okay, I'm gonna get this and these for sure. Oh my god, I see some glands. Hello, big spender. Someone's made this, but they put gave her a little patch right there. That's good. Um, she's three dollars. She's a naked lady mug. I can't resist them. I'm gonna get you, naked lady. Get in there. Oh, look at this flower frog. This is great. $15 with this insert. That's beautiful. Look at this. Little... I think this is... I'm not sure who made that, but it's cute. A little pig in his barrel. And we've got little miniature poodles. Little black poodles there. Oh, man. That is just frightening. He is really wanting to push his little cart somewhere. Yeah, let me put my cart push my cart somewhere. Oh my gosh. Look at all the poodas. This is a cute little bird planter there too, but we've got poodles. These are left in. Those are. It says as is. I'm not sure why. Oh, that one looks like it has done something it should not have done. A gray poodle. Here's some little spaghetti poodles with a little hat. It's 12 there for that one. This one's cute. A little, I guess, toothpick holder. I like that one. It's different. I'm going to get that one. There's a little poodle in a little hat box. It's a little poodle. That's weird. <laughs> oh, look at that. Poodle's in the circus. This is Andrea Bysadic Poodle for $8 with this fancy little sweater. Oh, there's a little poodle cup and a little poodle with potpourri, a chained poodle, a poodle bell, and then a redware poodles. But I think I'm going to get this poodle. That's a, that's a poodle I'm going to get. So this is a newer booth over here. I, I'm looking, it looks like that cow has hair. Looks like he's got hair. <laughs> and I got, oh, here's a little owl sun catcher for $2. That's a little, I kind of look for the ones that have like this metal. It's two fifty for the cardinal there, little dog. Oh, there's Plymouth. Norman Rockwell children. Some kitty cats. Some little children over there. It's cute. So it's set up really cute. Just booths. Oh, that's cute. A little desk there. There's some more sun catchers here. Look at this piece of furniture. $245 for this Hoosier. That's a great price. Look at the, I'm like more drawn to the contact paper, the, the mushrooms that's on the inside. That's pretty amazing. I've got Santa, cowboy, some bird cages, a little piece of Viking there for 12. A little finger, Viking finger glass some lamps oh mom this piggy look at you $25 I still cannot believe that this table and chairs have not sold yet $129 look at this table look at that table and it's got the little leaves things that pull out okay yes there's a little slice in that chair but honestly this this table these ends pull out so it makes it bigger so if you have a little kitchen, this is a perfect little kitchen table. You don't need to do anything to it because it's the perfect collar ever created. $129. That's shocking that it's still here. Okay, guys, it was a great shopping experience as always at Riverside Antiques here in Bedford, Indiana. I got some great stuff. Everything that I got, you saw me pick up. I still can't believe that that table is still here. I would buy, if I had room for it, I would buy that table in a heartbeat. It's a perfect color. Anyway, 
thank you guys so much for shopping along with me. This is a great place if you're ever in the Bedford, Indiana area. Make sure that you do stop into Riverside Antiques and check it out. It's a lot of great stuff, a lot of great prices. Some things I did leave behind and I told myself, well, if it's here next week. But this place is local to me. So if you saw something that I didn't buy and you're like, Misty, I would like that. Just send me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. I can run over here and get it. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And I would really appreciate it. And leave a comment on your way out. Hit the thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, put his hair in the middle.